Good morning everybody, welcome back to my channel. It's Belinda here from Visualize NZ. I'm just planning on doing a bit of fun collage this morning. Um, hopefully you'll find that okay. Uh, please grab your own supplies and craft along with me, that'd be really really good. I'll just go through uh, first what we're going to make. So I'm going to do these collage clusters I guess or just collaged onto the back of old receipts so mostly what I've got is grocery receipts but any receipts are fine just make sure if you do do this that you don't use any receipts that would be needed if you need to return an item or something so yeah just make sure that you don't actually need the receipts anymore if you don't have a pile of receipts um, I'm very fortunate in that my husband collects all the receipts and every now and then empties his wallet of them and puts them in a drawer. And then every now and then the drawer gets emptied. So I went and raided the drawer and I've got plenty of receipts here to the side to work with. And so they're all done on receipts. Now if you don't, as I was saying, if you don't have receipts then you can do it on anything. Just cut yourself some strips of plain paper, um, scrapbook paper, children's sketchbook paper you know it doesn't have to be really good quality uh, the backs of envelopes whatever you want whatever you've got uh, there's no reason why you can't do this and just cut them to the size that you want whether it be receipt size or not there's no real no real reason you, ca you can't just do this with anything so that's our basis so I'm using receipts and I've got around me piles of scraps so I've separated them out just to make the, the filming a bit quicker and easier so I'm not sorting so much. So I've got a pile of uh, things like book pages, dictionaries, um, music paper, sewing pattern paper, that type of thing. So that's one pile. And another pile I've got patterned papers. So fragments of scrapbook paper, digital printouts, uh, map paper anything with a bit of pattern or colour on so there's also some jelly print scraps in there as well then I've got a pile in front of me of plain papers or plainish or solid colours uh, so I haven't got many of those out so I might have to dip for some more but we'll see how we go I don't know how many I'll get done in this time I've got some envelopes the inside of envelopes I don't know why that's in a separate pile it just is and not sure what else we'll need. At the moment, I'm just going to do the backgrounds. Not going to do the decorating of them. Um, if we get time, I might decorate a, a couple before the end of the video. Um, we'll see how we get on. So with that, I'm just going to start. So I'm just going to double check each receipt as I go. Just to make sure it's nothing that we need to keep. So with these, you can either do several collages on the same strip of paper or you can tear it as you go um, I just kind of make it up as I go along I've got no real rhyme or reason to how I do this process excuse me just having a wee drink there um, so first I'm just going to grab something and lay it down and just build up the collage I do like the torn edge look uh, so I'm going to tear off that edge but I'm going to leave the straight side edges as I said no rhyme or reason just what I prefer or what I like or what seems to be best at the time there's no right or wrong way to this uh, you will notice I'm collaging on the back of the receipt so that none of that detail shows through that'll be the part that's glued down onto wherever you stick the collage so I um, don't think that pile of paper is going to work too well for me. It's a bit far away. So I might have to bring it closer if I can. So I really enjoy collage. I find it very relaxing. And um, in doing this process I'm trying to just stick down and not think too much. But you'll notice that's already kind of flown out the window and that I was just playing around with where I was going to place it. But you know, you do want to be happy with what you've done at the end of the day, otherwise you're not 
likely to use it in anything. You're likely to just file it away and it just gets dropped to the bottom of the pile every time. I do kind of keep to a colour, sort of colour way in these things. I'm just going to tear off the logo that's on the bottom of that. And these straight edges. Yeah, some things are like the straight edges, some I don't, so I just kind of make it up. But you can get quite quick with this, especially if you don't think about it too much and just get, get your scraps, put them down. And with collage, I mean, it's quite hard to make it look bad. Well, I think anyway. I'm sure, sure, sure I've made bad collages in the past, but even if they're bad, once you tear them up again into pieces for use in something, they always seem to look really good. Right, use some um, foreign book page. Chuck a bit of that in there. With the uh, text, I actually like to put it sideways or upside down um, sometimes I put it the right way up just depends how it fits the shape of it fits because I'm looking at the shape and the colors and making sure hopefully that no edges line up and sort of create a, a line effect because uh, I think you focus less on trying to read what the text says if it's not you know oriented how we would normally read it also, you notice um, in these collages, there's no uh, size restriction. Make them as big or as small as you want. Uh, my preference is to make a variety of different sizes uh, so that it will fit whichever way you want it to. Now, because this pattern paper is see-through, I might actually just lay it over top, just like that. So I've got to be very careful with this. Um, just checking my glue book for any glue areas because it's very easy to stick it to your glue book and tear it. And that's kind of just wasted time and wasted glue, really. Now you can put the glue directly onto the surface, but then you end up with either it not stuck down properly or an overhang. Um, so yeah, so there we go. And I'm going to call that one done. Simple as. Now I'm just going to flip it around to do the other end just for ease of filming. Normally I'd, I'd work at the top and it wouldn't be a problem. Uh, but with filming I just want to make sure I'm not sort of obscuring your view too much with my arm. Because that's not particularly helpful. So what's everyone up to today? Again, a well, it's winter here, so saying it's cold is kind of a bit redundant, really, isn't it? And I'm just perpetually cold. I've had quite a large weight loss in a short space of time, and so I'm I'm just cold. <laughs> to be expected, um, I guess, but it's still not fun. And yeah, these frosts. I'm not sure if there was a frost this morning or not. Um, I didn't look out the window in time. There could probably was, although my husband did say there was a breeze last night, so there might not have been. But yeah, I'm I'm just I've just got to come to terms with the fact that I'm I'm going to be cold, really cold this winter. Just suck it up. That's what I need to do. I need to suck it up. And get on with it. So, anyway, I was asking you guys what you're up to. I am away tomorrow, um, so I've pre-recorded a video that will go up tomorrow. I recorded it yesterday. So I'm hoping to go swimming, but I tried on, I know my togs that I was wearing earlier this year are too big. And I haven't tried them on for a few weeks, but I tried on my uh, swimming outfit that was from a couple of years ago because I'm hoping to go swimming. And I was disappointed to find that that 
outfit is too big as well so I'm not too sure whether I'm actually going to end up going swimming or not because you know I don't want a costume mishap in the pool not much fun if that happens so I'm kind of like I'll still still go out um, because I need to go shopping and get some not a swimsuit because that's a bit a bit pricey at the moment um, but some other items of clothing because you know lots of my stuff is getting a bit big now um, and I need to yeah just see if I can pick up some cheap things just to get me through because I haven't finished losing weight um, I'll, I'll, I'll still be downsizing so I don't want to spend heaps of money on when they won't uh, last me very long Mm. Oh, let's go there so yeah so I'm going shopping tomorrow maybe going swimming depends how brave I feel and then hubby's workplace has um, a little after work function on tomorrow so I'll be staying for that it's the same place I used to work so it's almost yeah almost like family so I enjoy hanging out with them catching up um, which I haven't done a lot of lately. I, I was spending a lot of time there when I was having medical appointments and things. Um, but I've kind of finished those for a while. Uh, there should be another one coming up soon, but I haven't received the appointment. Uh, but yeah, when I don't have a reason to go, and I haven't been swimming for a while because I, I had a cold after my last swim. It's a heated pool, but I was cold in the water, and I developed a cold uh, a few days later, so I think I might have just chilled down too much. Another reason why I might not go for a swim tomorrow. Um, so yeah, so I didn't go anywhere, and I certainly didn't go and hang out at hub, Hubby's work, because I don't want to spread around germs and bugs and things. Right. I feel like I need just something else on this one. Maybe a bit of plainish, plainish paper. So this is a really good way to use up the scrap. So if you've got a, a scrap problem where it's kind of exploding out of however you store them, um, then I suggest you just grab a base paper and your scrap bins and just have some fun. Right, and this one I think will be finished. And I've got quite a quite a bit in the middle, but well maybe I'll do a little narrow one. I haven't done done just a little little one, so maybe I'll do that. Because that is quite a bit of space in the middle. I've got a scrap bin to my right. That's where my hand keeps disappearing off to. And it's just a yogurt, yogurt pottle, a uh, 750 gram pottle. And it's just nice and small to fit on my desk. So I do have to empty it quite regularly. Which is not a bad thing. Just building up too much rubbish on the desk is um, not that workable. Especially when you've got a small desk. Right, as you can see, I'm just, um, well hopefully you can see, I'm just grabbing randomly and creating even smaller scraps as I go, which is, if you're into collage, you know quite well, that's just what happens. Uh, when I use these collages, sometimes I cut them straight because the edges of the receipt are straight and sometimes I forget to leave enough room to tear. And sometimes I will try and tear, and sometimes that involves tearing into the collage itself a little bit to create a ragged edge. And either way is fine. Uh, nobody else knows what it used to look like before you tore it. So they're not going to be, oh, like you, you collage that and then you took a bit off the side. No, I don't want more text. Maybe some music. Sorry guys, I know I'm reaching across the camera quite a bit. Um, I just don't know 
how I can get away from that uh, other than putting everything in one big pile and then it's then I'm just going to spend ages going through it finding what I want so I guess just have to um, live with that for the moment so I'm really sorry if that annoys you right, I think I need a new glue page here I'm starting to get stuff uh, sticking to it and leaving bits behind like this just did took off half the notes so time for a new page definitely this old music paper is um, quite soft so it does does tear quite easily right so I just fold up my glue pages and put them aside and then they'll become journal pages and pockets so more collaging because they'll end up collaged as well right maybe just one more piece on this and what would I like maybe a different color I tend to make everything sort of a bit matchy color wise this one isn't so much but this one, the first one I did definitely is. And it's not not really conscious. It's just like, does that look good or it doesn't, doesn't it? And I generally find that I like the ones that have a similar color, color palette. So, as I said, there's no right or wrong way. Whatever appeals to you is the right way. So there's a little mini collage in the middle. Cool, so done three so far. Grab another receipt. You can see they quite quick. Now this one I'm going to tear in half. Actually I'm going to cut it in half. Just so it's a bit easier to work on. Right, start with a bit of envelope I think I haven't used that yet so it's almost the weekend has anyone got any weekend plans uh, we're going in to see my mum haven't seen her for ooh, a good month at least uh, yeah possibly longer so really looking forward to catching up um, and last year on my birthday, my mum left me with the old car to use, and so the registration is still under my mum's name, and we paid for it, but the registration got posted to their address, and it's still at their address, and the registration in the car's run out uh, has been renewed, but of course we don't have the paperwork, so we really need to get hold of that. So that if I'm ever pulled over, which hasn't happened, but if I ever do, then I won't get in trouble. Hey, Snuggabugs. Snuggles has just arrived and she's looking up at me like, I want cuddles. So don't be surprised if a cat suddenly lands on the desk. Because she does tend to do that. It doesn't matter what I'm doing. She'll just arrive but she might not. Normally I'm not talking, so she might be might be put off by me talking. She's got the hiccups too. She's funny. When she eats biscuits, she and she she doesn't eat anything other than biscuits. She won't eat wet meat. We keep trying, but she just won't eat it. Um, but yeah, every time she eats biscuits, she hiccups, and she hiccups for quite a while. <laughs> when she does it, I call her squeak because it's it's a squeaky sound, and it's really quite cute. But I hate I have this real hate for hiccups. I hate when I hiccup. I hate when somebody around me hiccups and doesn't do anything to try and stop it. Yes, I'm talking to you, my darling husband. It just drives me mad. The only ones I can get away with listening to hiccups are babies, because they do tend to hiccup as well, and snuggles. They don't bother me. 
they're kind of cute and yeah sweet and it's it doesn't bug me but anybody else hiccuping it oh it just grates on me i'm not sure why maybe it's because i hate hiccups myself i find them so annoying and can be quite painful at times and they can go on forever i do have my own trick to get rid of them but it's just like i can't eat within half an hour of sorry i can't drink within half an hour of eating oops the doorbell's going i think that's the courier so i'll just put you on pause and be back in a sec is that paused no are we back filming sorry about that I'm just going to check that we're filming because I don't know if I hit the right button. Yep, we're all good. Oh goodness, I shouldn't have bothered going to the door. The courier had already left by the time I got there. Fortunately, they'd left the parcel on the doorstep. My husband ordered some uh, flea and worm treatment online. And that was that just arriving. It's quite expensive with the four cats. Uh, cheaper than children I would have to say because we've never had any children they are our kids but yeah when you've got to do four of them it's quite a bit and he went into a vet store and or it's kind of more of a pet store than a vet store where he's purchased it before in the town where he works and uh, last time they gave him matched a discount online and he got a really good deal and this time he went in he got a different person and she was quite adamant that she couldn't price match and so he left without the products and then he went searching online and found an even better deal than the one that that particular company were offering so he ordered that and then they were uh not only did they have a better deal on the base price, but they offered a deal for multiple purchases. So he bought enough to do uh, this dose for them all and the next dose. So yeah, that uh, shop lady's attitude and, and um, apparently she wasn't that nice when she was saying no. Um has cost that business a sale which is unfortunate for them but you know we haven't got a lot of extra money to throw around needlessly so you've got to got to go where you can afford really so all our kids they're not all done at the same time we stagger them um, so I'm not sure might be snuggles due to be done next snuggles does not like it being done that's the stuff that you put on the back of their necks and whenever shane does it she's you'd swear that he's murdering her <laughs> she just complains so vocally and loudly and then when it's done she turns around and glares she's so funny Now, I have no idea what I was saying before the doorbell went. So I do apologise if I was halfway through saying something. Because um, I have no idea what it was. Uh, maybe it was visiting mum and about the car and stuff. That might have been it, maybe. Anyway, doesn't matter. I'm sure if it was terribly important, it would come back to me. So yes, I did ask you all your plans for the weekend, so that will be our weekend. Go and do some visiting, which will be lovely. My uh, stepfather had surgery, oh, it must be a couple of weeks ago now. He had back surgery, so I spoke to him on the phone this morning and he sounded quite chipper. But it will be good to see him too, see how he's getting on.
Oops. This sewing paper is so thin and delicate that it's very easy to glue it to itself. For some reason I seem to like putting it crooked. Deliberately crooked. That's a bit of fun, isn't it? Right. And I think a bit of this. This is some eco dyed paper done with, um, as well as the plant matter, had some food colouring in it as well. So it's a pinky, pinky colour. I'm feeling like I need another bit of darker to balance out that dark red bit. So that could be interesting, trying to find something that might work. Maybe this, ah, oh, this might work. It's pink. It's a bit of jelly print. Try that. And you can see I'm varying the shapes and the sizes. And I love unusual little, little hooks and points and things. It's, it adds to the interest. In my view. Mm, does that work though? Maybe it needs to be a bit thinner. Mm -hmm -hmm. A bit shorter. You see I'm always like take this bit off and then that bit and then this bit. And that's fine as long as you end up using the piece that you've been busy trying to make work. But sometimes it doesn't actually work. And I've got some hair in that glue. Let's try and get that out. Yeah, I just feel that that provides a bit of balance with the darker colours. And I think I need to just square that off a bit. Maybe another bit of this blue. Yep, another bit of that blue. Yep, see, collage doesn't have to be done done. You can go back and fiddle with it for as long as you like until it's done and in a journal. And even then I'd say it's only really done once you've no longer got the journal. Then you've lost your ability to tinker. Right, the other half of that receipt, I'm just going to take off the, where it folded because it's a little sliver. That's just going to be annoying. So I'm, I'm going to leave the straight edges on this bit for a change. Just to show you the difference, different look, and that it doesn't matter. It will still look good. And got some music paper. Dig through my little pile here. So I've been doing videos now, oops I lost half of that stuck to my glue page, doing videos um, almost two weeks I guess, yeah it will be because I started Monday last week and it's now Thursday. Um, so I've gained a few new followers in that time which is quite cool, thank you very much for joining me. Uh, do. Tell your friends if, if they're into watching YouTube or crafty type videos. Um, I'd love to have more join us and create some conversations in the comments. And uh, I do also have a Facebook group. Uh, it's a closed group and you would need to request to join. Uh, it's called Visual Vibes. And it's specifically uh, to, to partner with this channel. It's a actually an old group I set up in, during lockdown when I was running a physical craft group at the wee shop that I used to run and I set, the, set it up back then uh, so that we, the four people that used to come along would have a, a way to connect during lockdown while we were all stuck at our homes and I gave them projects to do and some tips and you know things like that. So I've revived that group and to partner along with this YouTube channel. And I do plan on 
you know, some little tricks and, and tips and hoping to do some freebies along the way. Uh, so if you'd like to join that group, just send a friend request. I will hopefully remember to put a link to the group in the description box. And you're more than welcome to come and join us. It's a very small group at the moment. I think there's only four or five people in it. Um, most of whom are the people that were in the physical graph, craft group that I ran. Uh, but yeah, so hoping to expand that as well. So we can all, you know, have some, get to know each other a bit better. Have some con crafty conversations. And in there also, uh, you can access through there to my Facebook page called Visualised uh, to look at any journals or buy, request to buy a journal or commission a journal if you want to commission one. So yeah, do pop, pop along and check that out if you're into, if you use Facebook and into groups. I know not everybody is and, and that's perfectly okay too. You can always communicate with me by the comments on YouTube. Yeah. I do like random shapes in my collage. I think it adds a lot of interest. In this type of collage anyway. And I don't think that little, I think that little bit chilled up when I was gluing it. A little bit of glue under the edge. There we go. And that one I'm going to call done. And I'm going to do one this way. I find sometimes you get stuck in a, a bit of a rut of the orientation. So you always sort of do vertical collages. So every now and then I like to turn the paper around. And do one the other way. Now whether it actually gets used that way or not, it's immaterial. Just change my blue page here. Uh, but it just breaks up your thinking patterns, you know, when you get stuck in, in always doing the same thing. Um, it can limit the usability later on because it's it sort of lends itself to the way you originally that did the collage. So I do recommend just varying it every now and then with how you orientate the collage. If you prefer your text going uh, horizontally, not upside down, up the right way, then you know you your collage will be stuck to being used the way that you actually made it. So that's another good reason if you t tend to be someone who likes the writing up the right way to change your base the direction of your base from time to time just so you don't end up with all collages being the same way sometimes I like the white edge and sometimes I don't uh, it just depends how I feel or if I forget which way to, I'm tearing it or not thinking about it. In collage like this, I don't think it actually matters which way. I will show you the trick to tear it, depending on whether you actually want the white edge or not. A lot of people don't like the white edge. So I'll show you on the next bit how to tear it the right way to get the effect that you want. Those white edges are really good to distress as well because it, it picks up the ink beautifully. Okay, so I need another patterned bit just to show you the tearing. There's another bit of pink. Oops, there's a smaller bit. Right, so we've got white on the back, pattern on the front. So whichever one you pull towards you, is going to have the pattern on and the one that you tear away from you is going to have the white so if I tear so on my right I'm going to pull towards me and the left is going to be away 
you can see so the one that you pull away from you ends up with the white edge so that's just a little tip on tearing so you can tear to achieve the white or avoid the white depending on your preference so most of you if you're into collaging probably know this but just in case there's someone out there who didn't know that I'm going to put another bit down uh, the stuff I was using was using of pattern paper was brown which is great as well but I just got given this in with some stuff I picked up at the week last weekend from a finished garage sale they were just wanting to get rid of stuff so I picked up a whole heap of books old books a whole set of encyclopedias uh, some fabric scraps and there were a couple of dress patterns and the pattern paper is white so it's quite nice to have something a different color of the same type of tissue paper but it needs something up there I'll have to use another bit of that no and that nope I'm being fussy I know I'm being fussy. Hmm, maybe music paper might do. I do find with collage I get to a certain point where my I seem to not be able to progress. I haven't don't think I've reached that yet in this session. But um, yeah, sometimes I forget to the point where I find I don't like anything I'm doing. And it's generally a sign that I've had enough for that particular day and need to just move on to something different. So do you get like that as well? Do you get to that point where you seem to not be able to do anything that you like anymore? So maybe that's the same for you when you get to that point. Stop that activity, move on to a different one. Uh, you can still craft, just make it a different crafting thing maybe use what you'd been doing